y'all doing? My name is Johnny. I'm from the Instagram account Vintage Show Pony, and today I'm going to take you on a living room tour. If you're into vintage, follow us on Instagram and you can shop our collection and get your house looking hot and like an 80s porno. Okay, so let's saddle up and let's do this damn tour. Okay, so welcome to the living room. We are going to get started right in this corner as you first walk in. Here we go. Okay, so first up we have a swan side table, which really got me into the vintage game was looking for a swan table like this. And luckily I found one at a thrift store. It was uh, the ugliest wood color, the original wood color. So I got her home and I slapped some paint on her. She was $30 and such a steal. We're gonna go up onto this table. That's just a candle. And then we have this wave lamp and this 80s lampshade. Um, I got this wave lamp for $7.50. And then I went ahead and got the lampshade for $3, honey. I thrifted this lampshade for $3. And it is so cute. Moving on, curtains. All the curtains in the room are from World Market Online. I just love how airy they are, how lightweight. Um, they don't bog down the room at all, which is amazing. And they're super cheap. I think they're two for 29. Okay, one of the first items my partner and I sourced for ourselves was this funky ass mirror. I mean, look at the line work on her. If you get up really close, she has iridescent speckling in the circles on the mirror. She's just amazing. She gives off great reflections. And this was a Facebook Marketplace find and it was $50. As soon as we found it, my boyfriend jumped in the car and drove an hour to go get it. It is so heavy that it is actually like mounted on the wall. Um, and it's just like so retro. It's such a vibe in here and this is one of the original pieces that has actually stayed in this living room because we've changed this living room so fucking much. Okay, moving on. We're gonna ignore that, that's the AC unit. But going over to this gem, this is a very popular artist. Um, they're all over the Instagram game. The vintage community loves this uh, portrait. And we got her at an antique warehouse for 80 bucks. She is just like so hot. A lot of people think she's Cher, but she's not. And the pink and mauve just really sold it for me and really ties into the room. Okay, now we are currently at the radiator. We have these vintage radiator covers. Um, first off, I'm obsessed with these ceramic 80s cats. This one is pearlescent and she has the hottest eyes. Um, every cat that we've gotten has been like under $20, which is why I keep hoarding them. I'm a crazy cat bitch. Uh, it's official. I'm actually allergic to cats in real life. So these ones will do. Moving on to the left, we have this gorgeous Harris Industries 1987 heart lamp. And this is half of the twin set that we have, the other half you'll see in a minute. This thing is so fucking epic. It has three light settings and I'll just get closer. It's just amazing, honestly. It is so pretty in this pink and brass and it just has the warmest light ever. So super cute. This lamp is a whole fucking vibe. It's the John Dickinson knotted plaster lamp. This thing weighs about 100 pounds. Um, this color is extremely hard to find. 
And so when I found out on Facebook Marketplace, I fucking drove near two hours into Massachusetts to get it. Um, this lampshade did not come with it. I actually thrifted this lampshade specifically for this lamp and the shade was four bucks. And I think they pair really nicely together. Okay, the fireplace mantle. I have two anchors of beveled mirrors around my frame TV. Obviously that is not vintage. And these came in a set of three with a big clock beveled mirror, but I didn't feel comfortable selling them because they do have a little wear on them. I personally don't care for my household um, if the vintage items I source have wear because it just like tells a story of the items and really gives that aged look that I love. A little plant from HD Home Depot, shout out. Little candles, my friend got me these candlesticks because she knows I'm a gaudy hoe. Emerald Amazon, my specs. This TV, can't recommend enough, it is so dope. Again, we're just mimicking over there, except for this is a little Murano piece of glass. A glass flower with the twisted back. Super cute, ha happy enigma made me that plant steak. Okay, moving down from the mantle, I have this big ass vase. Um, it honestly feels like an urn. It is so heavy and huge. It's this pearlescent coloring and it came with those flowers, which I'm just too lazy to remove, but I got that for 20 bucks in Long Island. Uh, this uh, fireplace cover was $7.99 at the thrift and I just got paint and spray painted it to match the vibe of the room. A really cute and quick and easy and cheap DIY. Over here we have a draped vase, which uh, was a Facebook Marketplace find. I have this pompous grass in it. I love pompous grass. I just love the texture it adds to the room and it just like really makes the room tie in together with all the colors. This horse statue is a family heirloom. It was my grandpa's who I never met. Um, so I decided to keep it. It works with the theme of show pony, which we stan. Uh, here's the other lamp that I was referring to earlier. This is her sister. This is Ashley. The girl over there is Mary Kate. Avi. Record player that we never use um, from Urban Outfitters, I want to say. It's cute. Uh, we have a ton of records. We just never use it. That lamp in the corner is gonna go because it does not match the vibe anymore. I'm a huge reader, so here is the built-in bookshelves that we custom painted and put all of our disco lights on. A little sitting area back there to read near the natural lighting. I absolutely love this. I'm a huge book nerd, so it's amazing. Okay, moving on, we have this Carl Springer style table, which is one of my favorite things in the room. I got this on Facebook Marketplace when I sourced it. It was tan and it was super ugly and it came with my coffee table. And I wanna say each table was $70. I went ahead and I painted it to match, obviously, the cutout in the bookshelf. This color is my favorite color ever. It's called Apple Blossom from Bear at Home Depot. And I just love it. It is so pretty and the curving is just amazing. If you know anything about me, you know that I just love a funky shape and anything pink is my aesthetic. Here is a book I got from Thrift Books. This is just for um, furniture design and inspiration, home decor, all that good stuff. Estate sale find, one of my best ever estate sale finds was this duo, Waterfall Ottoman with the abstract chiclet style chair. I got these from this really bougie estate sale and I originally had it for sale, but 
I think I want to keep it because it just looks so amazing here and it just gives off the vibe that I want to give. It just looks like the perfect like coffee shop chair to be honest with you. Okay. Disco hoes are up in here. Okay, this one was thrifted. The biggest one in this collection was thrifted for like 20 bucks. The rest of them, here's a tip. Five Below has all of these disco balls for five bucks uh, a piece. The little ones come from Amazon. Moving over, we have Miss Lotus Lamp. She is one of my faves. Um, I was actually featured in an article for Apartment Therapy about Lotus Lamps and she is in that article. I can link it in the bio of this video, but Lotus Lamps are my thing. It's really what got me kind of known in the Instagram vintage community um, for my glass garden collection. And I just love her. The rest of my books, Lana Del Rey, of course, my queen. We turned around and these I want at an estate sale my laminate side tables nightstands whatever you want to call them they just work so perfectly in this room on top uh i have these lamps that i bought full price off of another seller on instagram called me florette these i will never sell i have never found them again they are super rare and super hot um and these i got at an estate sale in long island i don't know if i said that Next is my couch. Oh my God. My favorite thing in this room is this Nicoletti couch. Oh, I searched far and wide for these. Every time a fellow seller had one, they just sold out immediately. And so I had to scour for hours online. And I finally found them in Long Island. Um, I found her and her counterpart over there. And um, you guys are gonna die, but I spent $250 for both of the couches, which was fucking epic and more than I could ask for. Um, this is the coffee table I was talking about before that goes with the little Carl Springer side table. I painted her the same color pink, and then I grounded her with a teal bottom, which is hard to show because it's so close to the ground, but that's that we're gonna move over here to our fucking squiggle mirror wall we just wanted it to look like an 80s porno and i think it does the trick um i love mirror paneled walls and so this was the best we could do in this room it makes it look funky and it ties the room in together nicely which i just am obsessed with these pillows are from amazon I spent like 20 bucks on those. Moving over to here, the blanket is from Home Goods. no one cares. Okay, this is just the matching side table and lamp, and here is the angle of the couch. This couch is just a dream to me. There's the love seat, and finally, this little beat up ottoman, this Natuzzi ottoman. Um, originally, it came with a set that I sold already, and I just didn't really feel comfortable selling her because she's torn the fuck up. But I love her personally. Again, I don't care when things are a little damaged, a little worn, a little used. <laughs> Story of my life, honey. But yeah, here's the entire living room. I love it. I think it's super cozy. I love the color theme. And finally, <laughs> forgot to say, the rug I got in a state sale in Westchester, New York. Um... And it was a custom rug that I just had to have for this space. Okay, so that was a living room tour. Thank you so much for following along. I hope it was informative. I hope it gave you ideas for your own space. If you want to follow along our vintage journey or shop our collection, follow us on Instagram at Vintage Show Pony and see what we have in store for you. We have new things all the time and your house can look just like ours. So anyway, deuces to you all. I'm going to saddle up and get the fuck out of here.